Hello. Yo. Hey. Uh. <laughs> Howdy. Hold on, let me throw stuff in chest. So I'm. You caught me at an odd time. Uh, I tend to do that. I have returned. Yes. Welcome have back, soul. Oh, returned. I... <laughs> uh, I'm so frazzled right now. <laughs> what, what? What's with the the confrazzled or whatever the fuck you just said? Why I'm frazzled? Yeah. Well, you see here, folks. Uh, I just had an interesting encounter. Oh. Rex didn't come here and try to, like, throw hands Oh, no. Me. Although there was a thing that I need to inform you on. So you know how the plan was to give uh, Vanguard a bathhouse, kind of, you know, let them use a community bathhouse? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Rex essentially thought that, you know, I don't know if it's an ego or if it's just his vision of me is so actually warped that, you know... Basically, he has stated that he won't ever take a purifying bath. Oh. He won't. If that's what it takes. And I don't know what it is that it's taking. I don't know what, what lengths that this is going to. Oh, fun. I, I literally don't. But, well, then he walked up and stabbed me shortly later, which expected in character. Expected. But basically, it isn't an option to do this peacefully anymore. I've thought on these you know, things. May, you, mean, you know, actually, maybe it still is, question mark. Is it? Is it? Maybe? His hatred of me goes so deep that he's resorted to this. Oh my god. He... And Lily's. <laughs> Lily's a good person, but Rex seems to walk all over her, to be honest. And he always sees himself as right. I was shocked at this vision they have of me, and it was from one incident. For most of them. One time. And the stupid thing is, Rex is stolen from people. Yeah. Rex stole from the goddess. Mm hmm. Star read Ali's diary. Yes, that was terrible, and he will be punished for it the next time I see him. But hydrate Rex also read my hydrate. journals in the very beginning, and he got—he was never in trouble for any of that. Never. I let it go. It's because it's Rex. He can get away with almost everything. Well, yeah, but it's hypocritical to not, you know, hold others to whatever. He holds others to standards that he doesn't hold himself to, and from what it seems, he doesn't. He didn't see himself as wrong. But that's not what matters. What matters is the fact that if he isn't going to deal with this out of spite, something eventually will go wrong. Something that no one can deny is a mistake will eventually come to pass. And it is most likely going to harm the people that aren't like us. Those that don't get a second or third or fourth or however many chances. And they have okay. one life in this world. Yeah. And it isn't an option to do this peacefully anymore. But, like... Does it- do we really have to resort to, like, violence to fix all of this? I don't want to resort to violence. I didn't. I wanted to solve this through paying for my crimes in what way they saw fit. They wanted me to hand over all of my items, vacate my home, start over. I would have done it. If only, you know, it started things on the path to mending. But they never gave me, you know, a punishment. I told them that I would, but they never did. And now it's come to here. If he won't take a bath and get rid of his warp and stuff so that his sanity goes back to normal, there's no other choice but to do it forcefully. Uh, I feel like that's just gonna make things worse, but... That's the I thing. No. It likely, in a way, will. Because the fact of the matter is we're forcing someone to do something they said that they won't. And that's one reason why I do need to talk to you. Because you don't have to join this. Because I know that there's going to be consequences, and I can't predict all of them. Hmm. And if you don't want to be affiliated with that, then you're free to, you're free to not. I still think... 
having the bathhouse will be helpful. Because obviously Rex isn't the only one who will need it. Don't you take whatever. Take two. Let your son eat. Hmm? They all refuse to use OVAC. The others... It's... It's because it's from me, probably. They thought I... They thought that this was my attempt to magic everything better. Rex himself thought that, you know, that I thought that I was scared of him. That I thought that he was a problem to be fixed. That I was just up to games. Uh, because this whole of, thing is just frustrating. And honestly, it, at this point, it just feels like a waste of time. Yes, but if we don't do this, the consequence... It, I don't know when the consequences would come, but they'd come eventually. And I'd rather I suffer than others. People that don't have a second chance that might be affected. Yeah. So, <coughs> the truth of the situation is that we're going to trap Rex in a purifying bath. We're going to drop him in. And then we're going to try to keep him in there long enough for it to work. The thing is, Vanguard's likely going to be dragged along. I don't, That's... I don't like this idea, but if, if it's literally the only thing to do, then... Uh... If anyone has a better suggestion, I'd take it. But... We can't get him in the bath unless we do it ourselves. Okay. Let's let's do it then, I guess. Are you absolutely sure? Because people will probably start to see you somewhat how they see me. Or they'll just think I manipulated everyone. That too. I mean, I don't know. If there's no other way, then there's no other way. I'd rather risk fucking up my reputation and risk lives. Thank you, Marcy. I really appreciate it. So, have you talked to Damien? No, not yet. I haven't seen him yet. Well, should we go do that? Uh, if we can find him. Hopefully they're at the tree. Alright. This is bad, because literally, if we do all this and this bath doesn't even affect what we're trying to get rid of, literally everything would be pointless, actually. <laughs> you know, we'll leave it to the ones who know jack shit about everything. Let's, mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully Damien knows I, how to handle this situation. As much as I hate to admit it, I need to find someone that knows. TK really did leave at the actual worst time God, possible. Yeah, like, where, where the fuck did he go? I don't know, he's been MIA and... He wasn't gone this long. Like, the last time he was gone this long, it was after the possession incident. Oh, I see them. I you see this, them! This the, the fellas! Is this, oh, wait, I did finish this house. Yo. Hey. Yo. They, they casually move into an unfinished house? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, bud? <clears throat> I fell on the stairs. <laughs> Greetings, mortal. This location is quite different from its first incarnation, but not without its benefits. I simply adore how I may stay here and still feel safe with one and with uh, and one with nature. I just like being kept in close quarters for too long, you know. I'm glad you guys made it. Did, did you guys hate being like 20 feet above the ground? Um, it, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, it feels nice to be back as well. It was it was far better than the the goddess's home. Although I appreciate her kindness and generosity, I cannot help but dislike her town of Florencia. It does not seem very friendly. This place you have crafted is ra rather marvelous, Marshy. You like it? Mm, quite, actually. I believe it shall cater to my own personal preferences nicely. Is there anything I can do for you on this day? After all, I believe myself and Crow have yet to fulfill our end of the of a particular bargain. We still owe you for saving us from the Aquam Edict, correct? God, I can't say that word. <laughs> Lacrim Edict? Yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you about, um, Thomcraft. Oh. I pestered her. What in particular did you wonder about? 
Well, I have a friend who's looking into purification, as you can see right here, my friend. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's quite the question, Marshy Mallow. I'm assuming this friend is attempting to dispel a warp from themselves or another. It can be quite a costly process to purify oneself of warp. You will need many materials to purify successfully, such as an arcade spa technology, purifying soaps, and bath salts. I could attempt to craft some for you, as I have expertise in that area, actually, but it would take some time to gather all the ingredients. That would be great! Although it's the le it's the it is the least I can do, I do not mind going to the effort of for someone who helped myself and my companion so greatly. Um, do you know anything about warding as well? He pauses and frowns. Although I am aware of warding, I'm afraid I I'm no expert in that field. I'm far more advanced in common dread magics and purification, but warding is something else. Although Crow is far more adept, after all, he he used warding quite often on our journeys together to, as to to keep the two of us safe. Perhaps you should talk to him about it. Okay, thanks, Damien. We got we got help. Oh, where the where the fuck is Crow? Is he in the okay, other sir, house? I must say, thank you actually so much because. Eh. Crow, are you in here? I don't know anything about this arcane spa stuff, oh dear. There you are. Hey, bud. My lack of knowledge on thongcraft is something I really need to remedy, but I don't want to go into it myself, whatever the circumstances. Hello, sir. Back in the open, the goddess's house was, was fun while it lasted, but this place takes the cake for best places we stayed in Mythos. And it's safe for Damien. That's all I care about. Hello, Crow. Marshy, hello again. It's nice. This is a nice place you have here, actually. I think Davy and I will like it here. That's great to hear. Heh. <laughs> Thanks again for everything you've done to help us. You're a strange girl, but you're very nice. We don't meet too many nice people in Mythos, actually. Especially people who are nice to Damien. I know he never shows it, but I know that he appreciates your kindness deep down. Oh, how did that date thing go? With the goddess and all that. Oh, no. mm, let's uh, let's not mm, let's change the topic. Oh, uh, sorry, didn't think it was like that. Sure, what do you want to talk about? So, Damien says you know stuff about warding. I mean, I know some. Yeah, I practice warding a lot to keep Damien and I safe. Why do you ask? I need you to help me with and some friends with ward something. Oh yeah? He pauses. I suppose I could, but I don't want to leave Damien alone for too long. How about this? Write down the coordinates on a piece of paper and put it in a chest somewhere. Damien and I will Damien and I will finish or Damien and I need to finish moving in here and then later on tonight, when Damien is asleep, I'll ward the door and go to those coordinates to reward whatever you want, okay? Sure, that works! Thanks for the help! I want to do it alone, though. I don't really like doing magic in front of people. Thanks for understanding. No problem. Alright! We're good! We got this! Uh, do Thanks you have heck. the coordinates? Because I definitely did not write them down. Okay, so I don't have them on me, but also I need to build it first, because I haven't altered the location. Because the location's gonna be the bathhouse, so I want to keep it far away from anything else, so that, you know, if things do go absolutely haywire, damage isn't done to, you know, anything local. Okay. That's so, uh, I guess I'll leave the book in his home once I get that done? He, I have, might have an extra chest if you want it, unless you have one on you. Uh, I can, I can, uh, make one and bring it when I come back with the coordinates, to be honest. Oh, that, yeah, that's fair. I have a lot of prep work to do. I need to get people bows, sword, armor. Honestly, the thing is, even with that stuff, we aren't going to be much of a match because Thomcraft goes literally straight through. Oh, yeah. You know. But don't even bother with the armor at this point. No, because some people use swords and stuff. Because mm. the thing is, we need to stay alive as long as possible. 
I plan to have a you know a respawn. You're point acting like this is I'm gonna, gonna be a hidden. full on battlefield instead of just how like to be prepared. Okay, let me tell you my plan. I want I you you deserve everyone deserves to know. Everyone has a say in this. Okay. Basically, I have some things to reconsider, but at the moment as it stands, my plan is well I plan to attempt to talk to Lily because Number one, I don't want to betray her again, so I'm going to take a risk and, well, it's lo it's logical that, you know, Rex refusing to take a bath, no matter what, would probably, she'd be against it, reasonably. So I'm hoping we can come to an understanding, because I don't want to do this without her permission, but I plan to give her a book ask her to go up to Rex with it, and the book's basically going to detail how I stole something. Mm -hmm. I stole something from them. Because given their impression and view of me, which is... Oh, I don't even want to go into how surprising that was. Um, because I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. Um, I mean, they wouldn't put it past me to steal something else, you know? So I'm yeah. going to basically say I'm going to... I'll exchange this for, you know, something, some other item they have. And I'll tell them the coordinates of the bathhouse. I'm gonna change up the look, because I'm gonna lay a trap. Now, here's what I'm expecting. Knowing Rex somewhat, he's gonna lead this. He's gonna be so pissed that he's gonna want to be the first one that walks through that door. So if I can get him separated from the crowd, I can trigger... I can have- it might be Soul or someone else, I'll have them trigger a trap on my command that will send him plummeting into a warded pit, and it will be covered back up then. Okay. And it-, it at the bottom it would have the purifying bath, so he won't die of fall damage or anything. But... If we can keep him in there, that's fine, but the issue is with this plan that Vanguard would probably go with him. Okay. That is inevitable, which is why I'm preparing for battle, because they aren't just going to sit idly. Yeah. So, that that's basically that. Then we just have to fend them off long enough for, you know, Rex to be purified. And then let him out, and then, you know... Then the aftermath will probably be, you know, we forced him to do something against his will. You know? We're scum of the earth and all that, as usual. Well, uh, all this is too complicated. Like, it's become too complicated. Like, it could have been so That's, much easier. It could have, but I guess people didn't want it to be. Because from my understanding of what I heard the other day, the only thing that I've ever done against them is steal. But they're counting, I suppose, what happened with Grungard, which I've come to realize I couldn't help. I don't know because what, what we went down in Grungard or... We went into the archives, got books. Were you there? I thought you were there. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Bet they don't... They're but mad it, about that? Well, apparently, after that, things got worse. I thought we cleared out the danger, but apparently it didn't. And, you know, people ended up dying. But that oh. wasn't something we could help. That wasn't... It's not necessarily even a matter of we didn't know enough. Yeah, I understand. We went down there with the goal to help, and the thing is, someone was trapped down there, too. We were trying to save a life. So... There, I've realized there wasn't anything we could do in that situation to change matters. Hmm. But the fact is that people still died. So that's a mistake I guess they've held against me. And then there's also... The thing with my island, our island now, I guess. But yeah. the thing is, that would have only affected my island. Whatever Thomcraft thing empowered the uh, Guardian of the Tides, I suspect that it only had a range. I mean, it attracted the creature, so if it went out of range, it would have been fine. I'm far enough from everyone else that, you know, in the end, it would have only affected me. Boo-hoo me, I lose all my stuff, I mean... So in truth, the only true thing that I've done is steal from Vanguard. But everything got blown out of such proportions. 
grudges are stupid. Hey, bud. Welcome to the ha- Welcome- How did oh. you get in here? <laughs> okay, don't look at him. Wait, here. I can't lie to say that you took things. Like, she saw you, but you flew away with your Come, armor. Get in the boat. You're gonna be my oh, friend. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Okay, cool. What? Oh, they're in a boat! You should name this fella. Um, Wait, will they get angry if I look at them? Yeah. yeah while they're in the boat? He'll, he'll get angry. Oh. I'm sorry, so I'll just stare at the ground, guys. The ground. The ground is very interesting, not gonna lie. He's in just, a very just... inconvenient spot now that I think about it. Can you push the boat? Um, no. Wait, I don't yes. think I can go upstairs. No, I cannot. Oh, no. Mm. How, how are we supposed to? <laughs> but... mm. All right, I'm not higher. you're just gonna oh, stay no. in this corner, okay? Okay. You can get a out of this. Oh. Can. Just a fella. Just hang out there. <laughs>